Hi folks, welcome to the Tech MI tutorials. Today we are going to discuss or learn about the singleton patterns, which is also the most important pattern of the JavaScript. So first of all, what is singleton? Singleton is something that will not return more than one instance of the object. So the singleton pattern can be intimidating when you first hear about it. But you will see how simple it is once you understand that it is simply preventing our class from creating more than one instance of the blueprint we have defined. In other words, we use the same principle we have used since the beginning of the chapter. Except we allow only one instance of the class to be created. So let me demonstrate. So let's uh, go back to our file and uh, comment this and uh, uh, let's do like uh, okay so first of all let's create a variable instance by default it is going to be null and after that uh, we are going to add a condition in our constructor like if okay so if we have nothing inside this instance it is empty so then only it will create one instance so you can understand what I am trying to do here is so whenever we are trying to create instance of this class constructor so it will always go to this constructor and check if instance is empty then only it will create this instance of the class so when the next time if it is going to create another instance it will come here and it is going to find that instance is not empty so instance we can add instance something inside like can add this here so now instance is not empty it is containing something so it is the object of this constructor so if it is empty then only it will get an uh, instance an instance so once it is created once once it has created a uh, instance it is not empty anymore so it can it will not create another instance of this class so let's suppose if if condition is false now it can simply return the instance so now this class constructor becomes singleton because it is not gonna create more than one instance of this class so first of all when we try to create new instance of this class it come here and it found that instance is null it goes down in the constructor and check if condition if it is empty yes it is empty it is going to create a new constructor and it is going to add this to the instance variable okay. so okay. instance variable and this and one when we are going to create another instance of this class it come again to the constructor it is going to find that instance is not empty so it is going to skip that condition it's going to come to the else and going to return the instance so it is not going to create the second instance of this class so this is how it becomes singleton and now, now let's test our code okay so i am going to try to create two instances of this car class so let's see say mm, say two okay and uh, with this time i want to print Save it to okay. So first let's see even our single instance is working or not. And uh, we can go to the browser and we can see yes, single instance is created. It is working perfectly fine. Now let's create try to create second instance of the same class like this. I am trying to console this and uh, for the visibility purpose I am going to add the second 
instance. So sorry, it will it has already created the same instance and written the same instance. So we can change it here, make it right. So at least the second instance should create these properties. See, it is not creating the second instance. It is always repeating the first one. It doesn't creating, I mean it, it has not created the second instance. So this is how. Now our design pattern is become singleton. This class cannot have the second instance. So this is the singleton pattern. So folks, if you have learned something, please like, hit the like button, add some comment if you want something or some improvement in my course. But if you do not understand something, please write down your email ID with a comment. I will definitely reply you with a solution. And please subscribe, hit the subscribe button because I regularly I am updating few courses and new javascript or front-end technology skills and test so you can simply subscribe the channel that's all <laughs> yeah thank you so much for watching for your time have a good day and keep learning